Uh, <laughs> temperatures the last couple of days have really warmed up uh, after being so chilly over the weekend. We're 27 on Sunday, 42 the past couple of days, and that warming trend continues today and tomorrow before another cold front arrives. This morning, sky is clear. The temperatures are in the 30s to lower 40s. Now, we already have some cloud cover up north, and if you're traveling into Minnesota, the clouds are already there, as well as down into Iowa. Illinois is clear at this hour and will remain mostly clear throughout most of the day. The storm system gathering strength off to the west. We're seeing snow in parts of Montana and Idaho. Doesn't look all that impressive right now, but trust me, over the next 12 to 18 hours, this thing will really start to develop. And we will see quite a bit of rain out of this before it is all said and done. With that said, clouds increase. A few sprinkles around 11, 12 o'clock this morning and around the noon hour. And then spotty showers develop later this afternoon. So if you're charting to travel, say 3, 4, 5 o'clock this afternoon, you will run into a few of these very light spotty rain showers. Nothing heavy, just more annoying than anything else trying to figure out what wiper speed to be using as you're driving around. Temperatures this morning in the mid to upper 30s, even a few 40s. Fond du Lac's at 40s, 41 in Racine, 41 in Janesville, and 36 in West Bend. The wind has already started to pick up out of the south between 5 and and 15 miles per hour. It'll be 10 to 20 later this afternoon. With that breeze this morning, wind chills in some locations like in Waukesha, Burlington, Lake Geneva, and even Beaver Dam have dropped into the 20s. I'll swear into the lower 30s, like 33 here in Milwaukee. So the sky will start to increase with clouds throughout the day. A few spotty late afternoon showers. Otherwise, temperatures close to 50 degrees. It's going to be a mild day despite the cloud cover, and that's thanks to that southerly wind at 10 to 20. Future forecast shows the clouds increasing this afternoon, spotty showers off and on, and then overnight tonight, increasing chance of rain. But watch what happens tomorrow. The rain really starts to develop and right over southern Wisconsin. We're kind of the bullseye for the heavy rain. Then you get to Wausau northward. We're looking at snow, and eventually that snow moves into Green Bay during the game tomorrow evening, and we'll see our wintry mix here locally sometime early Friday morning. So this is what it looks like with the snow totals. Anywhere from two to maybe four inches of snow from Green Bay to Rhineland. Now the snow, the accumulating snow in Green Bay will be after the game, but you will see some snowflakes during the game, and we'll pick up about a tenth of an inch of snow here locally early Friday morning. So if you are going to the game, tailgating will be 44 and rainy. During the game, rain changing to sleet and maybe even a little bit of light snow as temperatures drop to 37 at kickoff and 32 by the end of the game with a wintry mix. There could be some slipping and sliding on the roadways as you are driving home late Thanksgiving night. How much rain are we talking about here? An inch to two inches. This is going to be a huge soaking rain event. Thanksgiving, especially afternoon and evening. 51 degrees on Thanksgiving. 38. Oh, is that... Is he having a hard time breathing because of the water? I don't know. 38 degrees on Friday with that wintry mix in the morning. 38 and sunny on Saturday. Friday is very windy, by the way. Sunday, 41 and more light rain on Monday. Tatiana. I shouldn't laugh. I know.